Hello friends, today we are going to learn about ventilator setting. We will discuss about very basic but very important criteria such as predicted body weight, tidal volume, respiratory rate, inspiration time, inspiratory pulse, and IE ratio. The first one is predicted body weight. So, how can we calculate the predicted body weight? The formula for predicted body weight is height in inches minus 60 is multiplied by the factor 2.3 and if to the whole calculation 50 kg is added then it gives the predicted body weight for male and if 45.5 kg is added to the calculation then it gives the predicted body weight for female. Second is tidal volume. For adult, including the patient of ARDS, tidal volume is calculated as 6 to 8 ml per kg of the predicted body weight. So, minimal tidal volume that can be set in ventilator for the patient is 6 ml per kg of the predicted body weight and maximal tidal volume that can be set in the ventilator is 8 ml per kg. We usually set tidal volume at 6 ml per kg or minimal in the initial ventilator setting to avoid barotrauma to alveoli. Wait, there are more lot things to know about the tidal volume. Tidal volume is 6 ml per kg of healthy adult with normal physiology. Tidal volume can be set from 6 to 12 ml per kg for the patient in a ventilator. Tidal volume can be set up to 12 ml per kg for the patient without pre-existing lung diseases. Tidal volume should not be set more than 10 ml per kg of the predicted body weight for the patient of COPD. Tidal volume is set at 6 to 8 ml per kg of the predicted body weight in the patient with ARDS and it is the lung protective strategy. So it is also mostly used tidal volume setting for almost all ventilated patients. So the Third one is respiratory rate. How can we calculate respiratory rate from two known values, predicted body weight and tidal volume? As we know, tidal volume times respiratory rate gives minute volume and the minute volume is also equals to predicted body weight into 100. In this way, we can calculate the respiratory rate as predicted body weight into 100 divided by tidal volume. So, respiratory rate is 100 times the predicted body weight divided by tidal volume. So, the next is inspiration time. Most ventilators offer either ability to change the absolute inspiratory time seconds or ability to change the ratio of inspiratory to expiratory time. So, what can we do if we are given desired inspiratory to expiratory time and have to set the inspiratory time? So, we have the formula for the inspiratory time as I divided by I plus E multiplied by 60 divided by RR where I is the inspiratory phase and E is the expiratory phase. If the desired I ratio is 1 is to 2 then we will put I equals to 1 and E equals to 2 in the formula. Similarly, if desired IE ratio is 1 is to 3, then we will put I equals to 1 and E equals to 3 in the formula. The next is inspiratory pause. Inspiratory pause is the break during the inspiration during which the flow ceases. It is calculated as one tenth of the inspiration time. IE ratio is the ratio of duration of inspiratory phase to expiratory phase. Inspiration helps in oxygenation whereas expiration helps in CO2 clearance or ventilation. Normally, expiration is longer than inspiration. At rest, inspiration is to expiration duration is 1 is to 2. We can set I is to E from 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 3 for a ventilated patient. 